Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're back. Welcome if you're new. My name is Natalie and in the month of September, I finished The Novice Path. Yes, it has been a hot minute <laughs> since I last filmed a video. I was not in the right headspace. My mental health was uh, not <laughs> on par with what it should be. And I was just busy with other things. So my wrap up for September um, is a bit late. But I read some good books this month. Or last month. We're already, what is it today? It's October 15th. <laughs> We're halfway through October already. Um, but yeah, I read some amazing books for the Magical Readathon. And I wanted to share it with you guys. Also, a full disclaimer, my allergies are killing me. So, um, I have a bit of a sniffles, but, um, I'm sorry about that. I tried to <laughs> cut them out as much as possible. Let's get right into the books I read in September. If you're in the book community, you've probably heard of it. Um, G revamped, uh, the Magical Readathon in a way that I, nobody could have predicted. Um, and, uh, we're on a journey to Aurelium Academy and um, the first stop on that journey is the entrance um, to the novice path and the prompt for that one was to read a book with a map in it and um, I read Hearts of Fierce and Broken by Bridget Kamara. This is the second book in um, the Curse Breaker series. The first one is A Curse of Dark and Lonely and um, a map, a map, a map. There is a map in the beginning of Emberfall. Um, I gave this four stars. I gave the first book four stars as well, but it feels like a very different four star read. So I've seen a lot of people DNFing this early on. 100% understand this. I struggled through the first quarter because first of all we follow a different set of characters so in the first book we follow Harper and Wren. Harper was the main reason why I gave the last book four stars. She's not in this, um, she's just a side character and Wren feels very out of character especially in the first quarter or half as, uh, as well um every time he he pops up and i'm like was he that i don't remember a lot about ren to be honest from the first book as well but like i don't remember him to be cruel but then i warmed up to what bridget camera is trying to do here and at the very end it really i think it really wrapped up nicely in the greater scheme of things of the series um, but yeah, I think you will like this if you like great character development. I thought Miramara and Grey had a nice character arc in this one. Um, if you can push past the first third, quarter to third, and if you like journeys, because most of this takes place, they're journeying around to do things without spawning, you know, <laughs> but yes. Four stars for this one and uh, I entered the novice path with this. Then the second one. What is the second one? I forgot the second prompt. The Ashthorn Tree. Book that keeps tempting you or like on top of your TBR. And for that one <laughs> I uh, read Instant Karma by Marissa Meyer. Um, I was reluctant to read this but still always intrigued because this is a contemporary and I love Marissa Meyer's work. These are all like retellings, or like superheroes and science fiction or like the Heartless is a retelling of um, Alice in Wonderland. Um, but um, this is a contemporary with a little bit of a magical twist. So I was reluctant to read it, but still every time I saw it, I'm like, maybe I should try, maybe I should try. So I got it and um, four stars. So we're following Prudence, who um, is, okay, Prudence as a main character, she's very unlikable. 
she is overachieving she is judgmental she is a bit arrogant and we're in her head which actually works well for her because i don't she's not cruel like she's not intentionally like this anyhow <laughs> so yes we're all prudent who is very chronically overachieving and control freak to into her bones and she was uh working on a project with um a guy called quint and um the mark they got for that assignment was not to her liking um because she is so controlling that like the teamwork they're supposed to do didn't work well she's not happy she wants to do it again so th during like summer vacation she has to kind of convince quint to work with her and try to get him to redo this assignment um so she signs up as a volunteer in the animal rescue quint works in then one day she bumps her head and she kind of finds out that she can control instant karma so she's going around sees people doing things and tries to inflict this like uni like universal justice if she tries it with quint it always backfires and good things happen to him although she thinks that he's supposed to like be punished for whatever he's doing right now and this is kind of where we start off this was cute i liked it a lot i really do like marissa Maya's characters she um has a way of writing characters that are not very good like lawfully good and lawfully evil i would say but um if you like i would say if you like enemies to lovers um cute summer beach vibes animal rescues um and beaded references this is for you then what was the next one i don't remember <laughs> number three the third stop on the novice path is the mist of solitude read a standalone and for that i read uh under the whispering door by tj clune one of my most anticipated releases uh of this year and it did not disappoint five stars uh, we follow wallace who dies <laughs> and finds himself in a little tea shop in the middle of nowhere um with the ferryman who is trying to help him cross to the other side through a door in the ceiling it's on the very upper floor of this little house in the ceiling thus under the whispering door the love story in this is a bit of a side it's not the main story is really not this is a book about grief it's a book about all the different facets and all the different uh, forms all the different forms of grief through the eyes of a first like quirky unlikable character is very weird <laughs> to be honest because wallace at the beginning is just he is and he, he's an ass and still you kind of like him it is this is weird like he's an asshole and then he's not really wallace is is an is a thing it might have been the narrator though <laughs> I haven't listened to it on audio and the narrator is very good at setting him up to make this journey to be not an asshole anymore <laughs> the love story is really I, I, for me I felt like it's really a side note not a side note but a side storyline that just kind of happens as you follow Wallace it's a book about death it's a book about grief but it's also a book about it's never too late to change yourself and to better yourself. You know, everyone talked about 
the house and the sitter and see you being like a warm hug and you just feel happy. Under the whispering door, it feels like a bit of a bittersweet cousin to the house of serenity. You feel so happy and elated at the end, but you go through so many emotions while getting there. There's a trigger warning at the beginning. Please check that um, if you by any means triggered things related to death. Or please check Storygraph or Goodreads for um, trigger warnings and content warnings. I highly recommend this if you like queer rap, POC rap, um, quirky characters, found family. If you like the surveillance, there is no reason you wouldn't like this. The feeling and the atmosphere is very much on par and I loved it so much. Okay, there's two stops on um, the novice path I didn't uh, finish, which was Ruin of the Sky and Obsidian Fault. I think um, a Ruin of the Sky was like paranormal and Obsidian Falls is um, a mystery or thriller. was not in the mood for either of those, so I didn't finish this. Um, but I did. <laughs> I did finish Tower of Rum Rumination. Is that how you say it? The Tower of Rumination, probably, was a five-star prediction and um, for that, my most anticipated release of the year. I cannot, oh god, Into the Dying Light by Katie Gross Poole. This is the third and final book of the Age of Darkness trilogy. It's just going right up where we left off in book two. It is stunning and beautiful. It, even, it, it expands on this world even more than it already had. Oh god, I'm going to sneeze. We're back. Oh, okay. So my heart is still in these pages and I think about it all the time. But um, that was 100% of five stars. Five star prediction turned out to be a five stars. I was not disappointed at all. The ending just uh, in my heart. And uh, I cannot recommend the series enough. Um, if you like prophecies, if you like great character development like uh, the multiple POVs that start at different points and wonderfully blend together throughout a third book period this is the series for you Age of Darkness three books three five stars <sighs> and the last stop we reached the entrance um to i think it's a, like a portal to aurelium academy so the aurelium academy arc and that was to read a book set in a school setting and um, for that i read a manga i read uh dokyuse by nakamura asumiko this is classmates in english again oh as always you will find all the translations of the manga i'm showing down below in the info box this is very hyped if you are at all into like boys love manga you will have heard of classmates um there is an anime which i haven't seen yet but i really want to it's also beloved gave it three stars maybe 3.5 um the nothing much happens um it's very low-key it's yeah, what is it? Okay, sorry, I didn't tell you what it's about. So, Classmates is about Kusakabe and Shoujo. What's his name? Oh no, I'm so sorry. So sorry. Sajo. They're in the same class, but kind of never talk because Kusakabe is kind of this musician, wild, popular boy, and Sajo is the key type, um, honorable student. And um, the path kind of cross when Sajo has problems with like cheat music. He cannot read cheat music, and Kusakabe helps him because they're about to just like have a um, 
to sing in a choir at the school festival. I have to say I thought it would be more heart-wrenching. If you like unique character design and unique style, but I want to sh no, that's a spoiler. <laughs> that's a spoiler. Let me just say here. There we go. Um, very long limbs, very like big slender long limbs, but it kind of kind of fits. It's kind of nice. Um, if you like low key coming of age, just a pure simplistic story, then this you will probably like this. There are two other volumes. Um, Sotsugyose. Uh, one and two, like Sotsugyosuke Fuyu and Sotsugyo Haru. So, Graduate Winter and Graduate Spring. So, I'm gonna be reading this um, in the coming week. And, um, but for now, I, this is fine. This is cute. I kind of can see why this is liked so much, but also not. Do I make sense? Probably not. <laughs> what am I even saying? Yes, this was uh, my novice path. I uh, had a great reading month uh, in September, as you can see, um, and uh, I hope you did too. I hope you finished your novice path and we can all attend uh, Aurelium Academy together in April. I'm very excited for that. Um, and yeah, my character is ready. He, I like him very, very much. Uh, and um, I cannot wait to kind of form him out over the course of the next few months so he's ready for learning <laughs> in April but yes um, I hope you like this video let me know if you read any of these books let me know if you liked any of these books and um, I uh, see you next week then guys bye